whenever possible, I try and get my mortise and tenon so they sit central on my timber. But sometimes in furniture construction, that isn't possible. So our mortise may have to be offset. If we're doing offset mortise and tenons, we really need to concentrate on the face side and face edge marks. This is a sample I started on earlier on. If I pop him in, he's nice and flush. If I happen to turn one of the components around, I think you can really see, although it's only a subtle offset, this would be disastrous and then your whole door would start going into twist. So what I've done, using my setup piece, I set it up, making sure that I was referencing face side to the fence and I've cut my one side of the tenon. I can't now just flip my tenon over to cut the other side because it would be wrong. There's two options I now have. I can either do all of my cuts for the one cheek of the tenon, referencing face side to the fence. I can then reset my fence over so I then cut the other cheek. Or what you can do is make yourself up a spacer block that sits in against the fence. Your face side still references off that face and it then cuts the other cheek of the tenon. To find out the thickness of your offset piece, your spacer, what you need to do is measure the size of your mortise and add the size of your kerf of your blade. I've done a couple of measurements with my vernier calipers. This was pretty much eight millimeters. This was pretty much one millimeter. And I've got a nine millimeter piece of MDF. And I was really lucky, I picked that up, I put it in, and it gave me the right size tenon. If it wasn't quite right, I would have probably got a thicker bit of solid timber and thickened it or planed it down to maybe nine and a half mil, which is just over three eighths, and worked it down until it was a good fit. Or if this MDF was just that fraction thick, I could put it through my panel or thickness planer, but I don't often plane MDF through there. I would probably put it through my drum sander and just skim it until I've done test cuts and it comes right for my tenon. Because the tenon is offset, I can use my end stop for cutting the one tenon I'd have to reset up to cut into the second one. So that tenon has come out really very clean off the bandsaw. If we were doing this as a small batch production job in our furniture school, we often will cut the shoulders on the table saw but ensure the table saw is guarded up sufficiently to do so and then we'd cut these cheeks on the band saw that's the quickest way for us to generally cut our tenons the table saw when it's set up well will give a really clean shoulder this actually looks very good but this is quite a mild poplar or tulip wood i'm not convinced that the band saw would give such a clean shoulder if I were doing it in maple or hard oak. But if I don't have a table saw, then I would do it on the band saw and just leave that fraction just to be chiseled off as I showed you earlier on.